Hey students, and welcome to another week of art class. This week we're going to be studying the Chinese New Year. This year is known as the Year of the Ox. The Chinese Zodiac is a repeating 12-year cycle of animal signs and their ascribed attributes based on the lunar calendar. In order, the zodiac animals are rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. So you might be asking yourself, how do I know which animal that I am? Your birth year determines your Chinese zodiac sign. Take a closer look at this chart if you would like to match up your birth year with your zodiac sign. Each of the signs have its own strengths, weaknesses, specific character traits, desires, and attitudes towards life and people. For example, when I looked up my birth year, I found that I was born in the year of the monkey. The monkey is said to be light-hearted pranksters who have the ability to achieve all of their dreams. If you'd like to look up your sign once the video is complete and you've completed your activity, the website that I got most of my information from is called ChineseNewYear.net. Some people that celebrate the Chinese New Year believe in these superstitions. Things such as breaking plates, crying, or lending and borrowing money may cause you to lose the luck of the New Year. Now that we've learned what Chinese New Year is, we're going to look specifically at the Lantern Festival, which is at the end of the Chinese New Year holiday. The Lantern Festival began over 2,000 years ago, and it has developed many meanings over the years. It is celebrated for family reunions and society, and it also features ancient spiritual traditions. Some people also call this the true Chinese Valentine's Day. Lanterns are the most notable part of this festival, which you can probably tell by the name. Throughout history, countless variations of lanterns have been created. They can be small and fit in the palm of your hand or as large as a parade float. People make lanterns in symbolic designs as well. For our activity today, we're going to create Chinese paper lanterns. Today you'll need a blank piece of paper, a pencil and an eraser, something to color with, and either tape or glue. You will also need a pair of scissors. Let's take a look at some examples of Chinese paper lanterns that I created. I created these lanterns by making designs on a paper and then coloring them in. Once I was done coloring, I folded the paper in half and made slits with scissors all the way across. Last, I secured my designs and lantern with tape and added a handle made out of pipe cleaner. We're going to focus on creating a pattern. An element of art, pattern, is constructed by repeating or echoing the elements of an artwork to communicate a sense of balance harmony, contrast, rhythm, or movement. We do this by repeating the same shape, colors, or objects throughout our artworks. Some patterns can be very simplistic and easy, while other patterns will be very intricate and detailed. Let's go ahead and get started. 
You may choose to follow along with the pattern that I am creating, or you can feel free to create your own. Just remember that we're creating Chinese paper lanterns, so we want them to have a Chinese feel and design. Colors that they use are usually reds, golds, blue, white, and sometimes a combination of reds with purples and gold. Whatever pattern you choose to do, make sure that you do it the entire page and repeat the exact same steps and use the exact same colors for the entire page. In my design, I'm creating scalloped shapes, also kind of like scales. They overlap with each row. Once I get done, I'm going to go back and add details inside of each of the circles.
Once you've covered your entire page and your design is complete, you're going to fold your paper exactly in half. With your paper still folded in half, you're going to hold it horizontally and cut evenly spaced slits in your paper all the way from left to right. Try to make your slits go to the same mark in the middle. Now you may open your paper back up and you should be able to see all of your slits. On one side only, you are going to take the last paper and cut it off. Leave the top part because that is what you're going to use to tuck it underneath. So it continues with a continuous lantern and there is no extra space. Once you tape it, it will look like it goes all the way around perfectly. Make sure to tuck and secure that flap behind the other one so you do not see it. You may want to squish your design so that the folds fold and so they will easily have an accordion-like feel when you set your lantern upright. This will allow for you to see inside the lantern and it will look like a real lantern as if something were glowing inside of it you would be able to see it. Please use the remainder of this video to work on completing your activity. I hope you guys enjoyed about learning about a holiday from another culture. Happy Chinese New Year!